This video is uh, showing the sky for the total solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017 at a little after 1 o'clock for southeast Nebraska. This would be similar for other locations across the United States. Um, the observer here is in the path of totality, so the sky is dark and this website is heavens-above.com, heavens-above.com. To use it, you will come to a menu. Your first thing you should click on is change your location. You'll have a search text box and enter your uh, city and state and do a search and it'll come up with that and then you activate that at the bottom of the screen. And then you would click on the interactive star map. So I'll go back to that. Uh, but I want to get to this part right now. And then you would set the date. So August 21st, I've set it to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, three minutes after 1. Um, and the sky will go dark for a couple of minutes if you're in the path of totality. And I have never experienced totality, but uh, I'll point out some of the objects that you might be able to see. Uh, if it's not cloudy, <clears throat> certainly you'll be able to see Venus. And the way that we're standing here, we're looking towards the south. The sun is high in the sky. We're looking towards the south. And off to the right is the west horizon. Off to the left is the east. And you should certainly be able to see Venus if it's not, uh, not cloudy. And I'll keep the, the cursor back away from this a little bit. But Venus would be off to the right. To the right of the sun, dimly, would be Mars. Mars is far from the Earth at this time. Off to the left and a little lower is Mercury. That might be a little dim also. It does not reflect a lot of light from the sun. Off to the left, towards the southeast horizon, would be Jupiter. That certainly should be visible as well. Notice that these uh, planets, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Jupiter, are relatively close to a purple line on this uh, plot. That's the ecliptic. That's the apparent path of the sun across the sky. The sun is in the constellation of Leo and you can see Regulus. The R of Regulus is a little bit blocked by the sun. Uh, Regulus will be a star visible to the left of the sun, slightly to the left of the sun. And it, I think I've read it's going to be visible through the corona of the sun, so that would be interesting. The brightest star in the sky will be in the southwest, Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. And over west-southwest, near the horizon, you may be able to pick up the constellation of Orion. Uh, near Venus, the constellation of Gemini, with Castor and Pollux, bright stars. And north from the sun, you may be able to pick up the Big Dipper, the Big Dipper and perhaps Polaris. Uh, in the sky as well. So those are things I'm going to look for. Also Arcturus over in the east is a bright star. Uh, but most of these other stars you'll not be able to see. I don't think uh, they'll be that visible. But Venus, Mars will try for, Mercury will try for, Jupiter over to the left near the star Spica. And then uh, Sirius, constellation of Orion, uh, perhaps Procyon and Canis Minor constellation. Castor and Pollux and Gemini constellation, uh, perhaps Arcturus over in the west um, will be visible, Big Dipper and uh, North Star. And constellation of Leo may be able to pick that out in the backwards question mark where Regulus is at the bottom of the backwards question mark. Hope the skies are clear for where you're located. Again, this is heavensabove.com. I am going to go back and uh, I'm going to show you the, the website. This would be what you'd first land in. And you go here, change your observing location. Um, and you know, perhaps I put in Beatrice. And press the Enter key. It does a search and finds Beatrice. And then update your location down here. You get back to the menu. You want this interactive sky chart. Interactive sky chart. Uh, bump up the date. I'm recording this on the 18th. Bump up the date to 21st. Bump up the time to 13 hours. That's 1 o'clock. And I'm going to drag across here and I'm going to put in about 2 minutes after 1.
an update and again very similar to the sky that you just saw with uh, the sun very near the star Regulus in the constellation of Leo. Hope the skies are clear where you are and uh, again uh, visit astronomy.gpclements.com astronomy.gpclements.com I'll just go there briefly And you can get updated eclipse information with the, uh, uh, you're seeing part of it here, but this links for total solar eclipse. And there are other YouTube videos on uh, uh, related to the solar eclipse, sky calendar for 2017, videos, or YouTube videos for astronomy. And if you're interested, YouTube videos for physics. There's a link on this site as well. I'm not going to bother to scroll this over. So, Hope the skies are clear.